series of things that have happened to me on airplanes. As a child with motion sickness, I threw up on the first eight flights I was ever on. On the way to Amarillo, I threw up in my seat. On the way to California, I threw up on my sister. On the way to New York, I threw up in front of the bathroom door. Last year, I was seated next to a man in a three-piece suit who loudly berated the flight attendants because e-cigarettes shouldn't count as smoking. Why are you wearing a suit on an airplane? You sound like an asshole, and you look uncomfortable. On my last three flights, I've been seated in front of the plane's required screaming child. Maybe it's a tired baby. Maybe I'm actually the one screaming. Maybe it's my vomit-covered sister, time traveling to haunt me. On my last flight, I fell asleep next to a man who looked like my father, which means I wasn't worried. Woke up to his wedding ring digging into my waist, his hand on my thigh like an unwanted house guest. It is moments like these I feel more sputter than storm more candle than bonfire. My friend Greg is asleep behind me, undisturbed. Ben is talking to the woman next to him about her grandchildren, and I, in the center of this airplane, am taking up too much space by existing. I'm apologizing to this man next to me in hopes that this will be it, that he won't follow me off the plane to my next gate like the man did on my way to Denver, or on my way to Minneapolis, or on my way home, or the way across the country a man is reclining his seat into my 14-year-old sister's lap, is yelling at her for her legs, for having a body, or the way the boy in my geology lecture follows me from seat to seat, ignores empty rows, puts his arm on mine, mistakes my shrinking for permission, which is to say that my body is too woman to really mean anything is too woman to be considered a threat, is too woman to have right to my own space or to have right. I don't know when I became a space to be filled, my thigh open lease, my neck a wishing well, his hot breath a coin, a demand cast into me so Know this, each unwanted touch is gasoline, each prodding hand flint, each time a man assumes my space, he is just stoking the flame, and a spark stoked enough will burn down the whole house.